chicken tenders that are healthy, juicy, and delicious? Uh, yes please. Hey, I'm Jamie Renee, and every week I bring you uncomplicated recipes for busy beginners. If that sounds like your jam, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and let's get going. Now that many of us are working from home, going out to lunch is just not an option, and neither is cooking every day. I'm going to show you how to make a batch of chicken that you can use in your lunches so you don't have to cook every single day. So I've got my oven preheated to 375 and I just want to go over the spices real quick with you. Um, they're pretty basic. I've got some ground cumin, garlic salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and crushed red pepper flakes. Oh, and a lemon. I've also got our chicken tenderloins. Um, these will cook up faster and will be more versatile for your meals, but you can also use chicken breasts and just adjust the time if you need to bake those as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've taken all of my spices and just used a half a teaspoon each and um, combined them in this little ramekin. We are going to dry off our chicken and then put it on our um, parchment lined baking sheet and cover it with spices. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm sure it goes without saying, but I just want to reiterate that you should always make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly, especially when you're handling chicken, salmonella, and disgusting bacteria like to live on there. So just make sure that you're always very careful and aware of everything that you touch anytime you're messing with chicken. Uh, meat in particular, but especially chicken. So I've got my chicken tenderloins. I have my chicken all dried off. I've got my spices all ready to go. I'm just going to transfer these over to this baking sheet and then we will get everything lined up here. So we have both sides seasoned. Um, we're just going to pop these in the oven until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees, which is going to be about 15 minutes. Um, with chicken, you want to make sure that it's thoroughly cooked through. And also that you wash your hands a lot because salmonella. So, let's get these in the oven. If you're curious what kind of things I keep stocked up so I can throw quick meals together for my family, go ahead and grab the checklist that shows what I keep in my pantry, my freezer, and my fridge so that I can have always have meals on hand. I'll put a link in the description below. All right, it's been our 15 minutes and I've got a digital thermometer here, a digital meat thermometer. Um, you just want to put this into like the um, thickest part of the chicken and make sure that it's going to register the 165. So mine are at 166, that is fine. I'm going to remove them from the baking sheet and continue to let them rest. You don't want to um, like cut into them or anything right now because they will uh, lose some juices. So we're gonna pile these up and I've got my half a lemon and I'm just gonna squeeze over the top and let that lemon kind of soak in while the meat is just resting. All right, we'll let that rest for at least five minutes and we'll come back. These have rested for a few minutes. They are um, actually still pretty warm. I'm just gonna take a little bite here. It's good, it's juicy, it's lemony. Having this kind of chicken on hand will make your life so much easier. Just the fact that you can throw this into a wrap, a sandwich, put it on a salad, whatever it is that you do with it, I think you'll like it. That's it for this week. If you liked this video, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Give me a thumbs up and be sure and check out these other great videos where I show you what you can do with this chicken.